Ma, this lipstick is for you, girl. What's up, guys? Oh my god, look. Whoa. I'm about to start filming a new video for Mother's Day. Yes, Mother's Day is this weekend, and I am so thankful for you, Mom. I love you, and I just thank you so much for doing all that you do for me and my sisters and my nieces and everyone in the family. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing a DIY on a flower pot. Pictures all around it. It's gonna be fun. It's also a great last minute gift if you're working all week and you're like, man, I need to do something for my mom, but very thoughtful. And if she's anything like my mom who loves the garden, this is perfect for her. So let me stop chatting. I'm just gonna get straight into the video. Let's go. So what you will need is a pot, a flower pot. This one right here was only $3. Then I also had the base for it as well, which came with it, which is so cute. And I liked it white because pretty much I'm able to do whatever the heck I wanna do on it. <laughs> what else you could use is some paint, which is optional. Then you have paintbrush. You will need for your photos some Mod Podge with the sponge. Another optional thing is if you want to use some oil-based markers. These are Sharpie brand. We also have some string because I want to get fancy. A glue gun, which would be helpful to apply that string. Some scissors. And of course, the photos. Alrighty, now that that is done and I have cut out all of my pictures, and I do recommend that you make them as bright as possible because you don't want it too dark, or maybe you do. Your choice. Next, I'm going to use my Mod Podge as well as my brush, and I'm going to remove this, and let's place some of that Mod Podge in a container. And by taking your brush, you're going to dap and place it on your pot. Just paint it on, and really take whatever picture you want and lay it right on there. And take another one and put it right here. Do it again. And remember, at the end, you're going to just lay this right on top of it, so it really doesn't matter how much you put on. I'm just going to keep on applying it. Once you're done with putting all of your pictures onto it, you are just going to lightly give it a nice coat. I think it looks so good. I remember it's going to dry clear. I also got my Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree. So that didn't cause anything either. Almost done. Just any glumps you want to get out. Let's just wait for this to dry. And in the meantime, while this is drying, I'm going to work on the base. Now around the bottom, I decided to use this oil base paint Sharpie, and I'm gonna draw little leaves. So you gotta shake it up. And let's just start drawing. Oh, this comes out thick. It doesn't have to come out perfect. Oh my gosh, and it dries so quick. Next, I'm going to just use some red. I'm actually gonna use black later. And a little brush. Draw dots. I'm gonna draw ladybugs. The ladybugs. Now, while this is drying over here, I'm just going to write something around here, which is really nice. So I'm gonna take my black paint, and this is still drawing clearly. Mom, I love you. Thank you for amazing memories. When we are all done, I added some hearts into it, but this is beautiful. How thoughtful and how cute and look how crazy our pictures are. <laughs> Just shows how many memories that we have together. And I absolutely love it and I love her. I also added on the bottom because my leaves came out kind of messed up. I put some hearts in it and I just wrote some cute phrases such as friend, she's a wife, she's a daughter, and she is super duper loving. And it looks so cute. And just to wrap it up, I did add some tissue paper and some seeds so that she can get to planting. So if you like this DIY, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great and happy Mother's Day. Love you.